Hi, welcome to the GF channel. In today's episode, we're talking about hyper flashing, three pin relay, flasher relay, uh, as well as overall how the whole system in the 626 work and probably many other cars. Um, so that's the schematics. I couldn't find anything about 626. This is for the Capella. Uh, it is the same. I already tested. Mm, it's in Russian. I do not speak Russian. Um, but I managed to figure out everything. So this one here is this button there. Um, this one here is the switch here. This one here is the flasher relay. You see with the three... Sorry with the three pins this is the relay that's actually the original relay of the car i have mounted a led non hyper flashing one um and this one here is the ignition switch so these are the basic components of course you have the the, the light bulbs here uh, this is uh, rear uh, right uh, rear left this is front left then you have here uh, the the bulb inside of your speedo. Then again on the other side you have uh, rear right, front right, and again in the speedo. Um, how is it working? Well, you have a constant ground here, as you can see, and it goes to one of the pins of the relay. Here is the pins of the relay. It goes to B. So if we hold it like that it's on the right it goes to B constant ground now what happens with the voltage in the output then uh, you have two lines of 12 volts as you can see going from the battery one goes directly to the button there and it's not connected the other one goes through the ignition switch and then again to this button. So everything goes to this button. Um, but it is directly connected. So once you turn on to ignition, it actually directly connects the, the source, the power to the relay, to C. There is the C here. It's the left one. Um, so you turn the ignition and you have power to the relay or you press this button here and it closes this switch and then again it connects the, the power to the relay and then the output is from here it goes like that and if you have pressed this switch it goes through here and powers both uh, you see here there are two switches so it powers both of uh, the left and right circuits and it powers all the bulbs if you haven't pressed this it then continues or you may have pressed it or both of that and the switch here doesn't matter then if you have chosen a position it continues to the, the appropriate bulbs that's how simple is it, is it but the main question is why when you hit the ignition here and you have uh, constant ground and now you have applied 12 volts why isn't the relay blinking? why? Uh, yes of course no bulb will be lit because uh, no bulb is connected either this is in neutral and these are not connected but this doesn't mean that the relay wouldn't blink well that's the thing with hyper flashing here these relays they have electronics in them. Uh, maybe I, I could try opening it. Um, maybe, but I don't have the. Wait for me. Yeah, I'll try like that. Sorry. I'll try to open it to see <clears throat> what's inside. Basically, components. You don't expect anything else. Smarter than that. Come on. Okay and that's the relay as you can see there is relay but also there uh, 
there seems to be some components aside. Probably the logic. Ah, here you go. There's a logic board here. So there's logic board inside. And what it does, it measures the uh, load it has. So no load means uh, this wasn't connected and this wasn't connected. So it's not blinking. Even though it has power, it is not blinking because there's no load. If there is load, it measures the load, and based on the load, it actually blinks uh, fast or slow, so normal or fast or hyper flash. If a bur uh, if a, a bulb burns out, the load is lower, so it starts uh, hyper flashing to alert the driver that uh, a light bulb has burned. Um, the LED bulbs they have a much lower load, so the uh, the stock relay thinks it's it's a burned out bulb and starts hyper flashing. Um, we do not want that, so you, you just change that relay and everything goes away. Uh, of course, uh, probably if uh, actually LED light bulb burns out, you know you won't be alerted. But <laughs> uh, I haven't tested that. So here I have a practical setup. Um, I have removed all my right bulbs. You can see the two for fr front and rear. My side one, that's the side. And the one from the instrument cluster. So I have removed them. And now I'm gonna turn, so this one works. Of course, only one direction works. Um, now I'm gonna turn to ignition. And as you can see, this one works. This one, silence. Relay doesn't flash for this one. Not only here, because there's no bulb, but you cannot hear the sound. The clicking sound is not here. Um, that's because there's absolutely no load and the relay doesn't activate. Uh, that's pretty much it. It's simple setup. I hope you understood what's hyper flashing, how to deal with it. You can add a resistor, or with, if you do not want to switch this relay, just add a resistor up in parallel, uh, in series with the uh, LED light bulb. But that just generates heat, and I do not like that solution. That's it. I hope you like it. Enjoy my other videos. Hit subscribe. I'll be posting more videos soon. Bye.